Hey! Hey, who's that creepy guy walking barefoot across America? I'm trying to decide, <clears throat> trying to decide if I should take a, a direct route from here to LA, or if I should uh, cut down south to Tennessee and then cut across to LA. The first option is like 2,800 miles, and the second option is like over 3,000 miles, so. Oh, let me drive. Uh, oh, it's a dead end. This economy is a dead end. It's a nice piece of earth we got right here. Running past uh, something. I guess it's a yard. A few people have asked me to do a... Uh, talk more about the stuff I'm passing so uh, I guess I'll do that we got a uh, we got a red reflector right here uh, it looks like we got a fire truck that got converted into a hot dog stand I don't know why anyone would want to buy hot dogs uh, these are some boats uh, what's this old piece of metal doing there they, they uh, I don't know you're not making any sense in your videos and no one can follow along so no one's gonna watch them okay but, uh, but I don't know how to do a video whoa Duck Island Yacht Club Hey, how do they do the, uh, whoa! Right there. You tried, you, you didn't make any sense. You started yelling about some yacht club, but then you didn't say anything about it. If you want to create a story that people will follow, then you need to craft it, okay? Hey, what do you mean craft a story? Like, life isn't about, life is more complex than just a story, okay? Hey, 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 that guy riding on his bike is listening to the Beach Boy. I, I, I agree, I agree. Life is more complex than a story. But this video isn't life, it's a story. So craft it, okay? Or else there's no point in making these videos. If there's no point in making these, if there's no point in making these videos, I might as well just throw this stupid camera in the river. This isn't a river, this is like a, this is like a boat, a boat place or something. See how much, see, see how much you know, you don't even know what this place is. It's the Duck Island Yacht Club. And by the way, wait, 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 I don't even know if, if I'm Mark or if I'm the critique of Mark at this point. Ah oh, man, I lost my frame of reference. And now this whole video is ruined. All right, I'll try and craft the story. Here we go. Day six. Mark Palmer's running across America. Look at him go. Look at him move. Look at him go. He's really crossing it. Oh man, he just stepped on something. What is it? Oh no, he stepped on a. He stepped on something. It's like a little seed. Will he be able to make it, or will this seed stop him from continuing his journey? Find out next week on, uh, or tomorrow on, uh, Crossing America Barefoot. I just realized that some people, people in cities, people that are living in cities, or people that are living anywhere, there's a chance that some people haven't touched dirt with their feet in years. You know, you put on shoes when you leave the house, you don't take them off till you get back to the house, your house is an apartment, your apartment doesn't have an outside, yeah. You might not touch this. You might not touch the dirt in years, which is kind of sad. You haven't been in contact with the earth with your feet in years. Seems like this pipe's made out of wood. Yeah, another. Uh, yeah, I think that's another wooden pipe. Those guys are doing drones. They're doing a drone. Wow, you're really moving, Mark. You're really putting in the miles today. Look at Mark go. See Mark run. Sun's going down. Another night to get a. Uh, I don't know. I was going to say freaky. <laughs> this isn't freaky about me, or uh, I don't know. We got a lot of boats in Connecticut, that's for sure. The thing about this trip is it's definitely the most time I've ever spent in Connecticut. Can't remember ever spending more than like uh, a couple hours in Connecticut. And today, uh, what is this, my, my third, fourth day in Connecticut? Yeah. It's not too bad. I would visit it if maybe I didn't have anywhere else to go. I don't know. It's pretty good. Yeah. The world is truly a magical place sometimes. I just met some guy who was Facebook friends with a guy I went to high school and he saw, or no, he was a brother of someone who went, well I don't know how exactly it happened, but basically someone on Facebook, well I don't know, he just stopped and said I know someone that you know. And that uh, it was, was someone I went to high school posted about my trip on their Facebook and then someone they went to college with saw me passing through this town and then they told their brother and their brother stopped and said hey, I heard you're doing something. And I said, yeah, I'm doing it. How'd you hear about me? He's like, well, my brother knows you so on and then he knows you. That, that just seems weird. It's weird how, yeah, it's cool. The world's small, it's big. It's sometimes different sizes. But yeah, yeah, you know that feeling when you get a good email? It's like, woo! But it's more like, yeah! Well, I got a good email, it was like that. I hope you get good emails today too. Honestly, every footstep I take this entire trip is like a learning opportunity. Uh, and I just have to remember that, that, uh, you know, regardless of what happens, if something bad happens, it's not really bad. It's just a learning opportunity that will help me further on down the road. And you could say, you could say that's cheesy or whatever, Mark. You know, you just put some shoes on, okay? But 
You know, I won't. I could. I've done. I've done the walk across the country with shoes. I'm not. I'm not interested in shoes anymore. I'm interested in touching each, putting each. You know what I'm interested in? I'm interested in knowing what the hell Earth feels like every second of the day. That's what I'm interested in. Hey, 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 lady. Do you think I'm gonna make it? Do you think I'm gonna make it? No. I think I'm gonna. I found a friend. I found a friend. I found a friend. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd my friend go? Even if I was the only parachute in this entire town. Not sure if I'd stick around cause I doubt you'd even use me. Another afternoon got dark. Seems to happen about every day. Not sure where the sunshine goes But I heard from a friend Living deep in the horizon And he says he still feels the warmth 